Hey everybody, Kevin here from Harrington Classic Car Restorations in Asheboro, North Carolina. Here is the 69 Charger that we've been working on. It's all buffed out, B5 blue. Um, it's a brand new hood. We fixed the fenders. Body worked the whole car. We got different doors because um, we had th these were straighter than the other ones. So. Uh, if you look back at all the other videos, you'll see that we had to cut this quarter panel, move this back so the door fit because the doors were overlapping the fender or the quarters. Uh, we also had to put in a new tail pan back here because the tail pan was a little bit off. So we did paint it Organisol. So that's the textured paint that you see in there. It's semi-gloss black and then Organisol. Just put some textured paint in there. We had to redo these. We had to cut them, split them, make sure the gaps were right on there. Um, so everything's just kind of put on there. It's ready, almost ready to go back to the customer in Colorado. And uh, we painted the inside the trunk. You can see there. It's all wet, sanded, and buffed. So since the last videos, we've done quite a bit of stuff to this. We painted the engine bay. We painted it, buffed it, wet sanded and buffed it, and put everything back together. We had to take the fenders off so we can undercoat the fenders. We undercoated the wheel, the wheel tubs. We used Raptor liner, because uh, that seems to work pretty good. If it was going for a, a concourse car, we would have used the original type of uh, undercoating as, as opposed to the Raptor, but he's gonna drive this a lot, so we're gonna make sure it's durable. Um, we'll open up the hood here. You see the engine bay. We got the master cylinder in. Uh, we just got this thing painted the other day, put on, put the lower valance on. I'll uh, put the bumper brackets on because you can't have all this stuff floating around in the car while it's being transported back. He's got a new K frame for it that he's going to put in. I don't know if you can see the old one or not. There's that. So he's got a new K-frame and, and new parts that he's going to put on there. Uh, he's going to finish it up at home. He's got his engine all built for it. So I think it's just about ready to go. Hope you like it. Here's the 69 Charger. We have the trunk just about ready for paint. We sanded most of these, sanded that. Got to finish sanding that one there, finish sanding that one there, and this will be ready for paint inside there. That tail pan's going to get painted black at some point, but we have to do a little bit of priming here because we seam seal that, but we'll edge that out so we can put the end caps on. Now we're going to paint the hinges and the jams. Over here we're going to paint the jams so we can put the doors back on and paint the jams in the engine bay so we can put the fenders back on, paint the frame rails and we also got the doors all taped up, there's the doors and the trunk lid taped up and we're going to flip the hood over paint the underside of the hood. So we got a lot of stuff going for that B5 Blue pretty soon. Okay, today we sanded and undercoated the quarter panels, both sides. And then we're going to take that paper off and we're going to start finish sanding the trunk floor so we get that ready for paint. Okay, here we are with the 69 Charger B5 Blue. We painted the jams today. We also painted the drip rail because we only want one coat of clear on that so you can get the uh, molding on there. So we'll tape that up when we paint the rest of the car. Got the trunk hinges painted, the trunk painted. Got the doors painted. We're going to end up taping these off and painting that black. Got the trunk lid painted. Looking 
pretty slick there. So we'll end up putting those pieces on and sanding it down again with 600. And getting it ready for paint. Hey everybody, Kevin here from Harrington Classic Car Restorations. Here's the 69 Charger. As you can see now, we've got paint on it. Um, we've got the fenders on. we got to still paint the underside of the hood. And it's getting ready for final blocking with 600. We painted the inside of the doors. As you can see. Painted those black. Painted the jams. Jams are all painted here. So we'll tape those up when we get ready to paint the whole, whole car. I haven't had time to really do videos on it, but I did take pictures of everything that we've done so far. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the pictures up and hope you like the music I put on with it. So I'm really happy that the guy trusted me enough to send me his car all the way from Colorado to here in North Carolina, in Asheboro, to do his car for him. Now make sure you watch the first video and you'll see how bad these these doors fit these quarter panels before um, how bad the trunk lid fit you'll also see that we had to put a new tail pan on because we had to cut the quarter panels because these didn't fit um, so you'll see all that coming up so enjoy the video like and subscribe And this is what we use to buff our wet sand and buff. We start with a thousand and fifteen hundred with this squeegee, believe it or not. That's what we use to get it nice and flat and smooth. And we start with that, and we also do two thousand with this, and then we'll hit it with three thousand and then five thousand with an interface pad on a DA. And that's how it gets to be looking. And to buff it. We'll either use the Roops compound. And I also found that this Jack's Wax Perfect Cut works really well also with the Roops pad. There's their wool pad. And that's usually what we use for everything. Uh, we use it for cutting the scratches out. And then we will use, here let me get, here we go. And then we'll use this foam pad for the final stage and we will finish buffing the scratches out with that and polish at the same time uh, so it works really good for both they do have one more pad that you could use with uh, the, the final finish um, but as you can see the car really doesn't need it because that Roops buffer works really really well getting the scratches out making sure everything's nice and shiny and it just it just shines it's pretty nice on how that roops works so if you have any questions likes and subscribe and we can go over more info on this car and also go back to the other videos that we have of this car and many others thanks for watching